Well, hello everyone, this is Rick Bassick, Fly Fish Fanatic, now oh, welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today we'll be tying a little um, caddis pattern, um, I call this a uh, reindeer caddis, just purely because I'm using uh, uh, reindeer hair for the uh, wing portion. I uh, really love reindeer, it, uh, it uh, floats really high, it's really soft, um, so it has a little bit of movement as well. Uh, it's not as stiff as deer hair or moose or elk, um, so I use it uh, in quite a few of my, uh, uh, especially caddis, but uh, other dry flies as well. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this one. And uh, yeah, let's get on to it. So, in the vise today, we have a Hens BL354 in a size 10 dry fly hook. Um, uh, you can do this in a, I usually go from a, almost a 6 all the way up to a 12. Um, so, it's a caddis pattern, so it's a little larger. Um, for the thread, I'm going to be using some Semperfly Nano Silk in copper um, or brown, whatever you have. Um, for the body, I'm going to be using some Dry Fly Poly Yarn Molted Orange Brown from Semperfly. Stuff is really cool. It uh, floats forever and a day and it, uh, it, uh, it's got a really cool molted coloring coloration to it. So, uh, For the tail, I'll be using a little bit, uh, just a piece of uh, ginger cock hackle, just some of the barbules off of it. And then for the wing, gonna be using some reindeer. This is actually reindeer. Uh, looks like it's a summer coat because it doesn't have any of the uh, under fur. Uh, one of my favorite undulate deers, uh, deer, uh, moose, elk, uh, I, I love reindeer. It's, it's, one of, it's so soft, um, it moves really well, um, and it breathes and it floats forever. Um, and then I'll be using some uh, Hens CDC in brown. Um, for the, let's call it the collar. So, okay, so let's uh, start off my nano silk onto my hooky, Come all the way back to roughly where that barb would be, so about there, give or take. Don't go around the corner. You don't want this to be. You don't want the tail to be going down. So, um, hopefully, this one records well for us. I didn't. Uh, I did uh, a recording. Five minutes prior to this of this fly and for some reason my camera shut off so or the recording stopped so now I'm just gonna take a little bunch of the fibers off that cock hackle so I just took a, a little pinch not a ton and I'm gonna do it about the length of the body I'm gonna come back about two about two um, hook eyes. I'm going to come back to the back. I'm going to go right where I measured for my tail. I do want a, I won't say a long tail, but a longer tail on this. Go under and forward and over. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this roughly on an angle. Roughly the length of the body. And just an open turn just to get it tied down. And then I'll tighten it up. Okay, come back to the front to roughly there. But like I said, about two hook eyes. And I'm going to take some of this dry fly poly yarn and just lay it in there. I don't want to go past where my body because I don't want to build up any bulk there. There's going to be enough bulk with the deer hair and stuff, or reindeer hair. Now if you wanted to, you can put a rib in this one as well. Um, what silver, a little like small silver holographic or something. Um, I do both. Um, this one's got enough movement and color and stuff in it that you don't always have to add a flash. So Tie that off. Now I've already put my deer hair into my stacker. So there's my bunch of deer hair. Let's just make sure I got no. Yeah, I do have one butt in there, so I'm just gonna pull that out. 
little stock of deer hair. I want this to go almost to the end of the tail, but not quite. So about there to the to the turn to the bend of the hook. So about there. So I'm going to just switch my fingers and cut that off. I'm going to. Uh, I've got a really good wax. Try to get into the habit of waxing um, any of your undulate hairs, deer hair, moose hair, elk hair, any of that kind of stuff. I mean, it's good to practice to get into to wax anything you put in, but anything that's slippery, definitely. So now I'm just going to come right back to where that uh, body material stopped. Just make sure that's tied in nice. Nice and tight. Don't go too tight with the nano silk because you'll cut the deer hair. And let it go. Make sure there's nothing sticking past. Right? And now I like just taking my finger and just pushing down just to keep that a little bit more um, under control. So, okay. That could have been a tiny bit shorter, that one, but it'll do. But it could have been a tiny bit shorter. I'll show you another one I tied prior to this where the video ran out, <laughs> but whatever. So I'm just gonna, sorry, get my fingering out of the way here. If you get things like this in general, not just in this fly, just pull them off. They break quite easily like that. So these flies, try to make them in my opinion, try to make them fairly simple. Uh, and the reason is, this stuff does, teeth of the of fish will pull the stuff out. Um, the, the deer here will pull it out, break it, brittle. Um, and I mean, if you're spending 15, 20 minutes on a fly, I mean, they, in a, in a good evening when we're doing well with sedges, um, I probably go through at least five or six of them. So, right, so just, if there's anything in the way, just pull it off. And I am taking my time. Normally these, I got these tied way faster. So as I go around, I'm gonna make sure I stroke all my material back. Stroke all my material back. Now, if you don't have brown CDC, go with a, like a dark, dark red or a black. Um, it's caddis in all stages, adult and um, pupa. Sorry. Um, they all have dark heads. All of them, every one of them, right? So you just want to make sure you've got uh, that dark head. In every stage of, of life, these, the sedge caddis has a dark head. Um, I mean, even when they're encased and stick their heads out, they're either dark or they're bright green. It depends on the, the species. So, but I like having this dark head. It just makes them look a little more natural. Now to make that float a little bit better, I could have even, I could put a little bit of a, um, like a hackle on. Right? A cock hackle of some sort, but um, I find these float forever anyway, so I don't really need that. Just going to brush out the CDC to make sure nothing's stuck, caught. And that's my finished fly right there. Fairly simple. Like I said, I'll show you what the one I tied just prior to this. The tail's just slightly, sh I mean, the uh, wing is just slightly uh, shorter. So when it comes down, it's about halfway, right? And uh, it's got a little bit less um, CDC in the front than this one does, right? A little bit less. And then this one here that I tied prior to that has got quite a bit more and a longer, a bushier, more, um, uh, let me zoom out here so you guys can see better. Um, this one's got uh, more reindeer and a lot more longer fibers of the, uh, CDC. It's a definitely heavier dressed. I like having some heavier dressed, some light dressed, and some medium dressed. So, and then like again, this one's got a little bit less of the brown. This one's got a little bit more. 
Um, and this one's got that little bit longer tail. I, they, like I said, this one I wish was a little shorter, like this one, but it'll fish. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, give her a thumbs up. If you subscribed, awesome. If you haven't, please consider doing so. We'll see you guys on the next time video. Tie lines.